instead formed the mayor's ad hoc committee on what would happen in the event of a big oil spill. And the night before the oil spill, we had scheduled Ricky Ott to come in and speak to us. And Ricky then said, gentlemen, it's not a matter of if you have an oil spill, it's a matter of when you have an oil spill. Unfortunate for us, it was only a few hours after she said it that it happened. It was early May of 1985. I had just finished graduate school and I got my master's and then my doctorate in oil pollution and I blended it with toxicology. I traveled a lot, different places around the world, different places around the country and I didn't feel the same as when I just came into this space. This space grabbed me and it held me. And what it took was buying my own boat and commercial fishing. Ricky has been quite an activist and uh, so we wanted to hear her, her comments. The low end estimate of the Exxon Valdez oil spill was 11 million gallons. The high end estimate was 38 million gallons. And the truth is somewhere in between. years later, we ask ExxonMobil to make Prince William Sound and our community whole. residue of the Exxon Valdez mm -hmm. 18 years later. Mm -hmm. we, should, we should start getting some rocks. Can I smell it? Wow. Definitely. Pretty amazing. That's what I'm here. It's hard to believe that the oil spill happened 18 years ago. But already there's another generation of kids coming up in the world. And especially here in Cordova, it's important that they know what happened here. This is an event that, that has national significance, significance of, over the whole world. So the children here carry the burden of explaining our story to the world. lives in the Gulf have really changed forever. Up until uh, the Gulf disaster, Exxon Valdez had the distinction of being North America's largest oil disaster. Uh, and I watched people's lives um, change overnight. I mean, people leaped up to try to defend their backyard, but over time, the story didn't stop. Um, divorces, suicides, no fishing, still no herring mm. fishing. Prince William Sound is not back to normal. Mm -hmm. And I realized that the same thing is going to happen in the Gulf. That's why I went down there. That it's not going to be like what people expect, that the government will take care of them, the government will hold this big corporation accountable. There's a hidden cost, and that hidden cost is going to be in their lives and their health. And the story goes on past the news. We were working on the front line of that VOO program. We got sprayed with dispersants. 
over and over and over. I stayed sick three weeks into the Who program. I've been sick nine months now. And here we are, no health care. None. Nobody wants to step to the plate and set these chemicals as poison does. Several of the fishermen out on the uh, work site, they were complaining of burning eyes and, 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 and strong smells. And my experience tell, told me that they were getting exposed to dangerous chemicals. And I knew that they were spraying this chemical in the same area where my fishermen were working. I uh, bought respirators and I brought them down to these people. And when they tried to wear them, the BP representatives was on site. Uh, uh, told them that it wasn't a dangerous situation and they didn't need to wear them and if they did uh, they would be taken off the job. If they now, wore respirators they'd be taken off the job? Yes. Why? Because BP lies and BP protects BP. The same situation occurred with Exxon Valdez over 20 years ago. It is a question of liability the minute BP declares that there is a respiratory danger on this situation is the day that they let the door open for liability suits down the line. Everything that's been set up by our government to do with these oil companies is to protect the oil companies against the people that they hurt and against the ecosystem that they destroy. What's in Corexa? Do you know what is EPA allowed to know and what is the company allowed to keep private? The largest ingredient in Corexa is oil, uh, but there are other materials. And when the, the ingredients are mixed with oil, uh, the combination of uh, uh, Corexa or any dispersant and oil is more toxic than the oil itself. Not only do you have airplanes flying and dropping them uh, on uh, the Gulf uh, region like Agent Orange in Vietnam, but a large amount of it is being uh, shot into uh, uh, the water column at, at uh, 5,000 feet to disperse the oil as it gushers out. Uh, and so you have spread, according to the Associated Press, over perhaps 44,000 square miles uh, an oil and dispersant mix. And what's happened is that makes it impossible to, to skim the oil out of the water. And there's been a lot of work to show that dispersants, uh, which is true, make it more difficult to clean up the mess than if you didn't use them. fish kills that we're seeing, you said they call them fish kills, a bunch of dead fish. When these fish are dead at the top, there's just as much crab and shrimp and oysters and other things that are dead at the bottom that you're not seeing. And you go out and you look at the water and you think it's okay, but it's not. You can go kill yourself, but I think that's exactly what BP would like because dead people don't talk, dead people don't complain, dead people don't sue, and dead people don't fight. And I decided right then and there, I'm going to stand up and fight for my land. And it's time for everybody else to stand up and fight for their land. Basically, if you want to build a sovereign, a more um, self-reliant, self-sufficient community, it pretty much boils down to like five things. You have to have local control of your water, your food, your economy, your energy. People are getting that across the country.
So our goal is to build jobs and the economy with three thumbs up. Up for the environment, up for social, up for economic. Did we do it with fossil fuels? No. 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 Did we do it with green businesses? Yes. yes. So that's our future and that's how we're going to protect what we love.